having uh, devotions by Brother Danny, if you will. I've been asked to uh, do that to help fill in with Brother Gentry to give some. want to uh, start to at least be, I think, uh, uh, at least three of these that will talk about the commands of Christ. So I want to give just a little bit of an introduction as this part one, if you will. It's been said that there are 49 different commands that Christ has given. Uh, and so we'll look at a few of those more closely. And I said today, I want to just give you an opening uh, as a part one, if you will, as we look into this. I want to begin Matthew chapter 28 with the great commission that was given to the disciples. And we believe to all of us that are part of Christ's church. It says, as Jesus came and spake unto him, saying, in Matthew 28, 20, uh, 18 through 20, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And so that we have by Jesus' words that he said, that we were to teach and to observe all things whatsoever He has commanded uh, that way. And I said there is a teachings on that. You can look those up at 49 different commands. I want to give you a couple other verses of God's promise, if you will, and precepts of keeping His commands. And so that last setting is Jesus was with His disciples there in the upper room before He would go to the garden and to the cross, there is, uh, said to me, that passage of Scripture in John, uh, chapter 13 through 17, in particular verses in chapter 14 through 16, uh, the last words he would give to his disciples before his death and burial uh, and resurrection. Chapter 14 of John, verse 15, read, If you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever it would teach us then this comforter that paraclete that would come along beside him uh, that advocate if you will who would enable and keep that verse 26 of John 14 was told that I will send him in my name he will teach you all things and bring to remembrance whatsoever things I'd spoken to you as I taught here not too long ago, I was reminded that John also says that there were many other signs that Jesus did in the presence of his disciples. But these things in the book of John were wrote so that you might believe that Jesus is a Christ and believe you might have life through his name. He would also teach us here in John chapter 14 that he said in verse 21, he that has my commandments and keeps them, literally obeys them he is the one who loves me and he will he that loves me shall be loved to my father and i will love him and manifest myself to him that word manifest literally means that he would appear to declare and to reveal himself so that promise to those who keep his commandments and obeys them truly is the one that loves jesus and then by loving him that we will be loved by jesus and by the father and they then will reveal, appear, uh, and declare themselves unto us. What a blessing that is. Verse 23, another verse in that section. Jesus would answer after Judas, not Iscariot, would ask, How is it that you're going to show yourself unto us, but not the rest of the world? Jesus would answer and say, If a man love me, and that word is agapeo, the word that means truly fond of and in affection that, uh, that we have. That if any man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come and make our abode with him. Only the second time that word is used in Greek. The first one here at the beginning of this, after Jesus would say, let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God, believe also in me, in my Father's house are, quote unquote, many mansions. Mansions is dwelling place, that same word for abode that we have here in verse 23. And so God will make their self 
resident with us, dwell with us when we keep and obey His words. What a blessing and an understanding that that is if you are lacking in your joy and the peace of God which passes your understanding then I would ask that you just go back and do what you know you need to do and, and keep the sayings that God has given us in His Word, especially those commands of Christ. I want to read you, i got just a, a partial list here. Uh, I found some of them are very practical, others are there. And I said, we'll go to pick a few of those and look at them a little more in depth in, in the next couple sessions or parts. I've got a list of 14 that are right here out of the 49. Repent. Remember that John the Baptist started that, but Jesus would also say that repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're told in Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine. Uh, we also know by the world can see your good works and glorify the Father. That's the reason. That we're to be righteous, that our righteousness should exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. That we're to keep our word. Another command that Jesus taught. To go the extra mile. To not worry or be anxious. To seek His kingdom. Or to seek first the kingdom of God and His right way of doing things and then everything else will fall into place. Another one, take His yoke upon you. And I've said we stop right there, but it says take my yoke upon you and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my Burden is light. You find that in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. There are those others. These may be practical as well. To be reconciled. To settle matters quickly. To not lust. Makes sense, but well, those are commands that Christ gave. To don't divorce except for infidelity. To pray. And then the last one that I have for you then is to live that golden rule. Remember, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Not to do unto others and run, but the way that you would have them do to you, do to them. And so, like I said, a couple parts after that, we'll look into that in our next session. May God be with you. If you don't have a church that, uh, uh, around, you can come here on Barron Road in Popper Bluff, Missouri, Temple Baptist Church. Uh, we'd love to have you. If you want to hear a pastor that will preach the word and... Uh, uh, do that come. Um, may God bless you in all your endeavors. In Jesus' name I ask and pray. Amen.